place the thin end of the reed in your mouth up till about this point, so this part should be sticking out of your mouth, and you hold it there while you put your instrument together. Don't put the entire reed in your mouth. Place the thin end of the reed in your mouth just up to where this bark starts here. If you don't want to put the reed in your mouth, you can use a small container of water like this and just set the reed in there to soak while you put your instrument together. And hold your mouthpiece and neck in your left hand just like I'm holding it. You should be looking down at it and see the hole in the mouthpiece right here. Notice that on this part of the mouthpiece, it's very flat. We're going to be laying down the reed flat against this part of the mouthpiece. Here's our reed. We have the flat side here. We're going to lay the reed down on the flat side of the mouthpiece, just like this. Don't try to put it inside the hole like that. It lays on top of the mouthpiece like this. Try to line it up as much as you can with the tip of the mouthpiece and then hold it in place with your left thumb, just like I am. Now we're ready for the ligature. The ligature has a smaller end here and a bigger end at the bottom. If you try to put the ligature on upside down like this, it won't go on correctly. You have to make sure that you're putting the big end on first. Carefully slide the ligature down over the reed. You have to be really careful not to accidentally hit the tip of the reed. Remember, we don't want to break the reed. And the ligature should go down over the dark part of the reed. So if it's not going down far enough, loosen the screws and push it down. Notice that the reed is kind of crooked. It's not lined up with the mouthpiece. Take your two thumbs and shimmy the reed back and forth until it's just perfectly even with the tip of the mouthpiece. You should see just a little line of the black part of the mouthpiece above. That reed is too low and that reed is too high. That reed is perfect. So make your reed look just like mine and then we're going to tighten the screws of the ligature. You don't have to make the screws super tight, just tight enough that the ligature will stay on the mouthpiece and not come sliding off. So here we have our reed ligature, mouthpiece, and neck all correctly assembled. So take a look at yours and make sure it looks just like mine.